uh, Farm Tech 2013, uh, you spoke this year about uh, the Farming CEO 2.0. Yes. Uh, what does that 2.0 look like? Well, um, it looks just slightly different than the 1.0. <laughs> and the point was, uh, you know, we've been sort of talking about this idea of the CEO in the farm and taking farm management and thinking about it broader than just being a good farm manager, how you plug into the rest of the world. And uh, frankly, I was talking about that at Farm Tech five, ten years ago. Um, but there's kind of a few variation twists that I think uh, needed to be added in, in how the world's changing now. Okay, so what are some of those twists? Uh, one of them was, and I think it's sort of a paradox, um, as the farm world is saying, hey, you got to treat the farm like a business, and you know it's a kick-ass world, like you, you got to be sharp, you got to be lean and mean. I'm watching lots of the rest of the industry, um, and, you know, and other businesses going, you know, we haven't blended enough sort of accommodation for lifestyle back into our business. So I had a little concern that we were almost crossing paths here as farms leave the lifestyle. You know, I got to love it, got to find my passion, and get kick-ass business. You know, business is kind of working the other way. We we got to saw it off in the right places, right. and especially as you know, farm enterprises are engaging with employees, with brothers, sisters, with suppliers. Uh, the whole idea of getting the culture right, and you know, making business fun. This whole idea that there's a need to uh, for the farm leader to set a, set the tone for culture in how you deal with employees, how you deal with suppliers, how you deal with sort of others in this game. Uh, that, that, that's a whole different planet from where we were not very long ago. So do you think farmers struggle with, you know, when they get you know, more and more employees in the farm, do you think they struggle with that, you know, establishing that culture? Absolutely. Because usually isn't it just about, we got to work hard. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the rules that we got from the generation before was, take on more, work harder, you'll get more rewards. Mm, yeah, no, no. But uh, particularly if you're trying to inspire people to do you know, an exceptional amount of work under unusual conditions and you expect that they're going to share the same passion of, about the industry for the same reasons as you, like, what crap? I mean, there's no way that that's going to happen. I mean, our, our, our kids aren't going to let that happen, right? It, we, what we do in a workplace has to relate to how it solves our employees' life problems, not just our problems. And if there's a if there's a big adjustment from thinking like an advanced farm manager to thinking like a CEO, it's the idea that the CEO's job is not to just solve the organization's problems, but to use the organization to solve other people's problems and broaden the tent and build value within the industry, build value within employees, build value with suppliers, with buyers, and be integral and a preferred supplier, preferred buyer in that network. I'm hearing compassion. Well, is that, is, that a, is, that, is we, that the right word or what is it? Uh, every business grows its way into a people business. I don't care you, whether you do it through, whether you're getting more intensive or whether you get larger, or how you do it, the, the connections to people become more and more vital about taking your business to, to the next step or seizing the opportunities that might be available to you. And, you know, wildly, uh, guys who entered the farm business 25 years ago, some of them did that to not deal with people at all. So there's a very rude awakening when somebody says the, the most important thing for the farm CEO is to say, be able to handle difficult conversations with people under difficult circumstances. Go, that was the point where I, why I have cattle, so I don't have to deal with people. It, there's, a, there's a collision happening here on what's sort of expected of a, of a farm leader. And, you know, some people are seizing that and having some fun with it. Some people are seizing that and taking it too seriously and burning themselves out. And some people are rejecting the idea completely. Um, but, we're, you know, we're going to have to work our way through that reality. It was a, you know, maybe an interesting parallel. The, the dynamic in changing from previous farm management to farm CEO is almost as radical as the dot-com world in business. That it's, it's so different, some people won't make that change comfortably. And some shouldn't. It's not what they're built for. Thanks a lot, Brent. No problem.